Willie Carson, two B Fresh, Frankie DeTore, three Dead Certain, Steve Cawthon, four Aloes, Billy Nunes, five Argentum, Pat Eddery, six Centerland, Walter Swinburne, seven Ron's Victory for France, written by Freddie Head, who'll be hoping for a better ride than he had on Linamix. Eight is Rushmore, Blinkered for the first time, written by Richard Quinn. Nine is Flower Girl, written by Felix Kutzer, brought off that uh, great fourth in the Queen Elizabeth II stakes. Ten is Northern Goddess, Ray Cochran. Eleven, Pharaoh's Delight, and she's Blinkered for the first time, written by Michael Roberts. Twelve is Polar Bird, written by Michael Hills. Thirteen, Rivers Rhapsody written by John Williams, and I'm going slowly so that you can continue to look at the old star himself. And 14 is Tadwin, who carries the second colours of Sheikh Hamdan al Maktoum, and he's written by Alan Munro. One, one point further out, dead certain sixes. Polar Bird, seven to one. Pharaoh's Delight, eights. Northern Goddess on nine to one. Tadwin on ten. Rivers Rhapsody, 14. Be Fresh and Flower Girl, 20. 25 to 1 bar. They're all in. A watch nearest to us, and they're away, and a pretty good even break, too. And B Fresh is one of the first to show on the near side, the right of the picture. Dead certain running very fast over on the far side. Pharaoh's delights up with them, and so is Center Land. Ron's victory is not far behind the lead, showing there in the center with his white face. And B Fresh towards the near side. Pharaoh's delight has the advantage, though. Blinkered for the first time, showing tremendous foot, too. And it's Pharaoh's delight from Ron's victory and B Fresh, with dead certain wide of the others over on the far side side then comes centerland and rushmore in behind them but it's pharaoh's delight ron's victory in the center for france on the near side be fresh polar birds trying to get into the picture too and coming there towards the far side is northern goddess with dead certain they're racing down now towards the furlong marker and on the near side showing with his white face is ron's victory ron's victory who looks as though he's going to become the first french victory in the crew diadem since 1947 he's striding away to win the in tremendous style. Ron's victory wins it absolutely entirely on his own. What consolation for Freddie Head, his ride on Linamix. Ron's victory the winner. Northern Goddess is second. Be fresh is third. Polar Bird is fourth. And behind them came Pharaoh's Delight, who faded. And then our gentleman Rushmore, and then Rivers Rhapsody. And so the result of the Krug Diadem Stakes is... A thunderous victory here for number seven, Ron's victory. In fact, Ron's victory, the winner, and virtually the rest nowhere. Ron's victory, owned by Mr. J.S. Morse, trained by Alain Fallour, his first uh, triumph at Ascot, also the first time that Ron's victory's learn had ever been here, written by Freddie Head, the former champion of France. Second was number 10, Northern Goddess, owned by Mr. Nigel Harris, trained by Ian Balding, ridden by Ray Cochran, and third, it, in fact, it's a photograph for third between uh, Polar Bird and Tadwin. First, Lucky Seven Ron's victory, 13 to 2. Second, number 10, Northern Goddess, 11 to 1. Third, number 14, Tadwin, 10 to 1.